Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to continue along with the Buck current controller that we had last time, and we're going to close an outer voltage loop with it now. So just to remind us what the inner current loop looks like, let's run the simulation and see here our inner current loop and our uh, output voltage looking pretty good. Uh, from here, we're going to run our AC sweep. And so these are the parameters for my AC sweep. And uh, here's my input perturbation that's going to occur here. So we'll run this simulation now and we'll get our uh, voltage uh, response to uh, with this inner current loop working. Just give it a couple more seconds there. Almost done. And here's our response. So with this, we're going to save this as an FRA file and then import this into Smart Control. So again, save as and then FRA file uh, voltage loop. Uh, hit save. We'll replace it, yes, and now let's just import this into Smart Control. So here's Smart Control. So again, we're going to come up to the Import Create New Launch Initial Dialog box, Import Frequency Response down at the bottom here. We are going to be doing Voltage Mode Control. Hit OK. We are going to browse to the file. Remember Voltage Loop. Open. Uh, our switching speed is 250K. Our output voltage is 3.3 volts. Hit OK. Uh, our sensor will have an embedded voltage divider and our compensator will be a PI. Uh, let's have a voltage reference of 1 volt. Remember my waveform is a 0 to 1 sawtooth, so that'll be a 1 volt there, 0 volts there, and uh, to give it a 98% duty cycle, we'll put 3.96 microseconds in there for the on time and hit OK. Uh, next up, let's just click a point and then go to the design screen. Again, remember that this bottom uh, step response is actually using uh, lower frequency and higher frequency components that we have not imported with our response. I imported from 10 hertz to, uh, I think, 20 k hertz in that AC sweep. So uh, really, we should be designing using these three curves again. So the pink being the control to output transfer function, green being our uh, plant transfer function, and brown being our closed loop response and also looking at the polar plot. So let's move this around and get a good looking uh, response here. Probably around 5K and 85. So that should probably be okay, something in there. Okay, yeah, so now all we need to do is we need to put these uh, parameters here into PSIM and we're good to go. So let's, uh, we'll rejoin this video when I have those that, that uh, simulation built up. Okay, so I have my uh, PI controller set up now. Um, I've set up our sense here to divide by 3.3 so that we have a, are okay with our reference of one volt. I've uh, input our PI controller here and we can see the coefficients. Uh, so 5.15 micro and 7.55 are what I've got here in this PI. Uh, and we can see the PI uh, from the original simulation, which is the top one, is uh, the same one down here. And let's just disable the AC sweep. And now we should be able to run this. I've got my uh, probes set up properly. And let's just give it this run and have a look at what our new uh, response looked like. So here's the originals. Uh, on this trace, I will add the eye closed for the voltage. Uh, and then on the voltage, I will add a new uh, waveform. In this case, it will be the V closed voltage, and we can see what that looks like. So, so here's the simulation results. We can see that we have this initial current pulse, which charges up uh, all of the uh, data energy storage and gets us up to our steady state voltage over here. So we can zoom in at the beginning point here, and we can see how much faster we're getting to steady state without any overshoot. Um, so here's our 3.3 volt steady state. Okay, that's it for this tutorial video. This design method uh, works for any multi-loop controller, really. Um, all you need to do is um, go all the way up. So design your, get your open loop frequency response, design the inner current loop, or the inner loop and then sweep the inner loop and get a new frequency response to design your outer loop. That method should work for, for most uh, topologies. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Check back for more videos in future.